Today I just want to share with you a way that I've started uh, to draw my knives using Google SketchUp. Now if you have never heard of Google SketchUp, it's a, a free drawing software. Uh, certain versions are free and then you can also get 30-day uh, trials for uh, the pro version and stuff. With the pro version you'll get the Style Builder app and I'm not sure what that does. SketchUp is the 3D modeling portion of the software and then Layout is the part that I was after. And that is just like flat state drawing. Uh, when you open it up you're going to get, the first thing you have to choose is your template and these relate to the type of paper you're going to be using uh, to plot or to print on when you're finished. Now one thing that I find is important with this step is that if you select the paper that you're going to be printing on, everything that you've drawn out comes true to scale which is really really handy. Um, the, the way that I use this uh, program is I draw my knife template and then I glue that to a piece of steel and then I can cut that out very accurately, mark my holes and everything and I don't have to actually take any measurements on the steel, I can simply use my template. So we're going to open up the letter version, choose that and now I've got a canvas here that is 8.5 by 11 inches. And let's take a look at some of the tools we're going to need to do this. First one is your pointer tool. That's the default. That's what you start with. Uh, moving to the right of that, we've got our line tool. There's two options here. One is a line, which is the magnetic snap, snap line, and the other is freehand. You're going to want the magnetic snap line. What that means is when you start your line, start carrying it across the page, it's going to automatically tend to keep it in a very straight plane here. So if I were to carry this out, I can, if you look at the bottom dialog box there, it has a length and I have mine set up in, in Imperial, uh, I can bring that out or else I could simply type in 5, which is 5 inches, hit enter, and it automatically draws a 5 inch line for me. And you see coming down here again, it will snap at 90 degrees. I can go 2 inches. And then also as I'm coming this way, I could enter 5 inches again to draw a nice even line with the top one. Or as I'm keep on, if I keep coming this way, it'll all of a sudden bring a gold green line up like that. I can click there and it'll automatically make sure that's lined up. Again, I can bring it up and just snap it there or I could just enter 2 inches and voila, we've created a nice even rectangle. Now, one thing that you need to know is that what SketchUp does at this point is it's created this as one object. So instead of four different lines, if I use my selector tool, I've got an entire object. So if I were to erase, if I wanted to just take out the top line, it takes the whole thing out. This was a part that I really uh, had to fiddle around with before I sorted it out. And what you're going to need to get around this is the split tool, this little razor knife here. Hold that on the edge that you want to start at and finish at, and now we've created a separate object. So we look at this one, all these three sides are still as one object. This uh, top one is its own object. So if I want to erase just the top, I can do so. And if I want to erase all three at once, I can do that as well. So that's a very important thing to keep in mind when you're drawing is the uh, split tool and then the join tool. If you want to have two objects and glue them so you can move them around together, you just join them up. You click the join tool and then click whichever objects you'd like to make as one object. The next tool I use is the arc tool. There's a few different versions here and I like the two point arc. Basically, you pick your starting point, your end point. You can go, say, four inches. And if you look, that dialog box at the bottom says bulge. Say if you want a half inch bulge, you can enter 0.5 or 1 slash 2, and it'll give you a bulge over five inches that's a half inch high. Really cool tool to use. The circle tool, I don't use this one very much, the rectangle tool. The next one that I use for knives is the circle tool. And really, you pick your starting point, and if you look at the dialog box now, it says radius. And uh, you can type in your radius that you'd like. So if you want a half inch radius, it'll give you a one inch hole. You can simply enter 0.5 or 1 slash 2. Really cool tool. Use that one a lot. Uh, the other one is obviously the eraser tool. A few quick keyboard shortcuts I'll tell you about. Eraser tool is E. The line tool is L. And one that's not up here is H. And that's a hand tool. And that allows you to grab and, and move around within your drawing. Also, to zoom in and out, you just use your scroll wheel and your mouse. And that works really good. So let's just kind of take a look at how all this pertains in drawing out a knife. The way that I'll start is I'll pick my line tool and I'll make a starting point uh, kind of working on a grid type of design. So if we want a four and a half inch handle, let's just go 4.5, enter. I've got a line at four and a half inches and let's go with a five inch blade, five inches, enter. Now I've created two lines here and this is the overall length of our knife. What we can do now is we'll make a line up here, 0.5 inches, and then we'll do another one going down 0.5 inches. Another thing you need to know when you're doing the lines, as soon as you click one point, it doesn't stop the line. It continues the entire line on. So what you need to do is uh, simply press escape and it'll keep you within the line tool, but it will stop that particular line. So we've got our two lines there. Now let's come up here. Another thing to note is that as you're going along your lines here, it will snap on endpoints for you. So this green line right here is an endpoint. So I know that was the end of the line that we did. 
Also, you see that red line showed up, so that shows me it would be right perpendicular with uh, the bottom line at a half inch up. So it really makes drawing out these lines and stuff quite easy and fast. Um, for some reason, it's not doing that for me here, so I can simply go 0.5, and then I can connect that to here, and I'll connect that to here. And again, as I scroll along here, uh, you'll see you'll get the end point lines and also center point lines. A blue point is a center point, so uh, the midpoint between the end point of this and this. Well, there's our handle drawn out. Now let's work on a blade. Let's bring it out this way. Let's do a bit of a clip point design. Um, let's just do three inches. And then we'll bring this over here. We have a five inch blade. So we'll do 3.5 inches here. Now, what we want to do is I'm going to draw a line uh, just click the L tool, hit L on my keyboard. I'm going to bring it up. Uh, we'll just do something arbitrary for now. So now I've kind of got a grid laid out, and um, it doesn't look like much, but this is actually a great basis to uh, start customizing and shaping. And this is where the fine little tweaking comes in. So I'm going to choose my arc tool. I'm going to use a two-point arc. And to make a clip point here, let's bring it down about like this. I'll bring it up to here. And now we can start kind of drawing whichever, what type of radius we want on there. I'm going to come up to here and do the same from the belly of the blade. We'll make it something like that. Again, I'm not showing you beautiful design work here. I'm just giving you the idea of how this works. Now, if we take our pointer tool, we need to kind of figure out what is all connected. You see all this is one thing. I'd like to get rid of some of these lines, but I do want to keep some of these ones. So we're going to go ahead and use our split tool. I'll click right here and right here and right here and right here. Now, I should have isolated a lot of these and I can delete them now. That one did too much, so I'm not quite done with my split tool on that, so I'm going to go to here, and to here, and to here. That should do it. No, it's still not doing it. Um, I'm still struggling with some of these uh, choices and options, like I'm not exactly sure what, why it doesn't isolate all these the way I want it to. But I'll uh, just go ahead and split as much as I can. Made a bunch of segments there. Okay, there's a rough blade done. Now you can kind of dress it up a little bit. Uh, say for the end over here, we would like to... Um, let's see what objects we have. Okay, I want to isolate some of these objects. So let's come here and click this. I want to isolate this. Now I should be able to get rid of this line right here. Now I want to lay out for my pins. I want pins in, say, three quarters of an inch from each end. What I'll do is I'll pick up my line tool, hit L, and then come this way and go three quarter. I come in from this side too, do the same thing. Three quarter. Now I've got two points at three quarter inches in. I'll pick up my circle tool and let's do, we'll do quarter inch pins so that would be a one eighth inch radius. And put that one there. We'll do one here, one eighth. And now I've got my pin locations. Let's dress up this handle a little bit. Uh, the back of it will come in over here and come to here, and we'll just bring this up to there. Now we want to start isolating this stuff up and cleaning it. So I'm going to pick from right here to right here, right here. Also split it here and here, here and here. And let me also get rid of this line here. And here. Now we should be able to start get rid of this ridding rid of this stuff and clean it up and boom. There we've got some uh, a nice outline of a knife. And from this point you can get as fancy as you'd like. Um, you could say draw in your grind lines just as a representation to to you know let people know what the knife's gonna look like when it's finished. Um, to do that, let's start with a line right here, come up, go this way, and let's just bring it over to up a little higher, bring it over to this intersection right there. Uh, that was not quite there. Let's try this again. Now we're going to come up, snap it right there. There you go, now I've drawn in where we're going to grind to. Also, you could take uh, you know some of these other grind lines and do other radiuses so you could show exactly how, how the grind is going to work and stuff like that. Uh, let's see what this object is like. So we've got a whole object right there. That might work. Let's go Control C to copy it. Control V to paste it again. Now we can just take one of those, move it up to here, and let's give it a little rotate. I'll move this up, join it right to there. Kind of zoom in a bit. Yeah, looks pretty good. Um, now let's isolate some of this. This is just to kind of show you how this program works. When I isolate that 
portion of the line. I also want to isolate this. And let's see if we have done enough there. And there you kind of have an idea. It kind of shows you where the grind is. Obviously, that does not line up. Uh, we can take extra steps to line that up, as well as you see the belly kind of comes down a little bit. Uh, that would just involve further cleanup. And there you have just the basic idea of the knife. And again, from here, you can customize it. You could do all types of different, uh, you know, profiling on your handles and kind of shape them and scalp them a bit and make them look nicer. Uh, really, you just fiddle with it. And the key that I've found is using small lines, drawing lines to get references for starting. And then the big ticket too is remember your cut tool and your uh, join tool. And really helps when you're racing, getting rid of stuff like that. Anyways, I just thought I'd share this because I'm starting to use this. I actually made a knife this week using SketchUp and I printed off five copies and even for everything like the scales, I would actually just glue the template to the scales, cut them out to that and man did it ever make it a very quick process and very accurate. Really happy with how the knife turned out. And one other thing I'd like to show you about this is that you can actually import um, pictures. So if you have a knife that you've already made or a hand sketch, uh, you can just go to insert and let's come up here. Let me go to my desktop. I'm not sure if I have anything in here that would work. Uh, let's try this one. So there you go. What I can do is I can scale this and I can actually just start drawing lines over top of it. And uh, let's go three inches. I'm not sure exactly how long that is. So there's a three inch. Now what I could do is I could scale, uh, I'll pick my selector tool and I'll select the image and I'll actually scale the image down so that it matches that line. So say if I know that handle from here to here is three inches, I can actually scale it and now I can start doing drawings of knives that I've previously made that I have images of or hand sketches of. So that's one of the other options about this uh, Google layout program. It's really, really slick like that, it works fantastic. Anyways, just thought I'd share this video, not a lot of details and I'm pretty sure a lot of the things that I do are quite clunky and not the proper way, but I'm sure I'll figure out quicker shortcuts in the future and you will too. Just like knife making, using something like this, if you just spend a little time with it and fiddle around, I think you'll actually find it be quite useful and you'll really start to pick it up after a short time. Thanks for watching the video guys. Cheers.